bomb has been located. Oh, that's just the old idea. It's just someone else's idea. There is no longer in your possession. I just need to like making it. Yo, it's Shark with DG, and today we're going to be going over the best attachments, or at least which I think are the best attachments in Siege currently. Uh, so to start off, you know, attachments are pretty simple. Um, there's a few types of weapons that I'd recommend, you know, you don't put certain attachments on. And then there's weapons that I'd say, like, you definitely should have certain attachments on. Um, but f to begin with, we're going to talk about optics. So for those of you that have been watching me for a while, you'll probably notice that I run Doc Hollow instead of the ACOG. Um... So this is something that I get asked about a lot, you know, I'll have people come into my stream, they'll be super confused, or, you know, I'll get comments on my YouTube videos like, you know, why are you running Doc Hollow instead of the ACOG? Uh, so this is a pretty simple question to answer, honestly. So basically, the only reason I run Hollow, even on Doc, is to keep consistency with my sense, and because my aspect ratio and FOV makes it much harder to use ACOGs, especially up close. You know, so I like to run a 4-3 aspect ratio and 84 FOV. So running an ACOG can really hurt me sometimes because everything is so much more zoomed in on my settings. Um, so about the sense thing, you know, anyone that doesn't already know, you you know, using an ACOG is going to slow down your sensitivity a little bit um, because you're more zoomed in. Um, so I just like to run the hollow uh, over the ACOG so I can keep consistency uh, with my, you know, sense and all of that. Um, so for the other optics, such as the reflex and red dot, you know, I don't really care for them that much. I used to run the reflex back in the day, but I always went back to the hollow. I just think it's better. You know, the red dot's got a terrible housing. Um, it just looks bad. I don't like it. And again, with the reflex, like the bullets come out of the tip of the triangle. Um, I don't know. It just kind of messes with my aim. So I like to stick with hollow everything and just keep consistency overall. Um... So we'll go over the second thing here uh, that I get asked at about a bunch, and that's why I run laser sights on all my guns. Um, and this is something that I've been meaning to answer for a while, um, and something that I've been doing for like years now is run laser sight on everything. Um, but with this most recent patch that's increased ADS time, I feel as if it's even more powerful than it, you know, has ever been. Uh, so I'll show you guys an example right now on why I run laser only on all my guns. My, my uh, stream pack should be here tomorrow. Uh, so as you can see, I basically hit fire that guy and that's mostly thanks to the laser sight. You know, having the laser sight on means that I get more lucky kills like that. Whereas if I didn't have the laser on, I would probably have missed due to not being fully ADS. Now this is, as I said, even more powerful with the increased ADS times because it's going to take much longer to ADS, meaning you're going to be hip firing for longer than you would have before this recent patch. So your laser sight, which increases hip fire accuracy, can and will help you get some more kills. Otherwise, you know, if you otherwise didn't have the laser sight on. Um, so you know, of course, the main drawback and what you know, the main reason why most people don't run laser on everything is that the enemy team can see the laser sight. You know, if you're holding an angle on the doorway or anything like that, they can see it and they might be able to pre-fire you. You know, this is something that I do die to here and there, but as time goes on and you master the laser sight and, you know, you put more time with it, um, you realize that it's pretty easy to hide the laser and you sh this shouldn't give you too much trouble. You know, you shouldn't die because of the laser sight that often. Um, you know, if you, still don't want, if you don't want to run the laser on everything, you know, that's completely understandable. But for the shotguns, I'd 100% recommend putting a laser sight on. You know, the lasers on your shotgun, it's going to help you make cleaner rotate holes. Um, you're going to be able to one-pump people rather than putting them on 1 HP more consistently. Because of that tighter spread, more of those pellets are going to be hitting people. Um, so with the shotguns, I definitely recommend putting the laser sight on. And you know... Usually with the shotgun, you're close range, you're holding an angle on a staircase, you know, you're playing close on a door, you know, close on a reinforcement, something like that. So if someone does see your laser, you know, you're not hiding it properly and they do try and pre-fire you, chances are you'll be able to kill them um, because, it, you know, it's a shotgun close range. So, it, you know, it, you'll probably just end up one pumping them. Um, so for, there is like one operator that I would recommend just throwing a laser sight on. Um, if you're not going to put it on anyone else besides the shotguns, um, I'd recommend putting it on a buck. And that's because of his skeleton key. 
you know, again, you're going to be able to make those cleaner rotates. You know, if you're trying to make a hole through a wall, um, you're going to open up the floor better, all, all that sort of stuff. Um, and also, you're going to be able to play much more aggro with the shotgun because the spread's going to be tighter. So you'll be able to get more frags with that shotgun. You'll be able to do more damage than you would with that one. Uh, so I definitely recommend throwing it on your shotguns and buck for sure, if no one else. Um, so that's really all I have for the lasers. So we'll go into the barrels now. Um, so the barrel that I use the most would definitely have to be the flash hider. Uh, for me, this is the best barrel you could currently put on for the majority of your guns. You know, this could change with a future update. Sometimes, you know, an update comes out and, you know, the muzzle breaks the best attachment or the compensator is the best attachment. But I've been running flash hitter for the past year or so. And, you know, I've had no issues whatsoever. The flash hitter has been just the best for me. Um, so the only guns I'd really not run the flash hitter on would be, you know, the DMRs. Um, the DMRs, I'd, I'd put a muzzle brake on. Um, and same with the pistols, I'd put a muzzle brake on. You know, the, the pistols, you can only switch between the suppressor or the muzzle brake. And with the pistols, I wouldn't want to run, you know, the suppressor to have less damage, more recoil. Um, so again, just run the muzzle brake on the pistols. Uh, and, you know, run the muzzle brake on the DMRs as well. Because the muzzle brake is going to reduce that first shot recoil. Um, so it's going to help you get a lot more kills. Um, and help you control that recoil with the DMRs. You know, so there's always some exceptions here and there. So for ex Ella, for example, you know, with this recent... Uh, Rico buff, you know, most of the community seems to be pretty torn on what barrel is the play for her. But um, personally, I've been running the Flash Hider, and I've been liking that a lot. But you'll have, you know, someone else say that Compensator is the best. Um, but for me, again, it's just Flash Hider. Uh, so now onto the grips. You know, this is pretty straightforward. Again, the vertical grip is going to help you, you know, reduce your recoil. Um, while the angle grip is going to help you ADS quicker. So for me personally, again, with these most recent ADS speed changes, as I mentioned earlier, um, I've been preferring the angle grip. Um, you know, I'm more of an aggro player. I'm like super aggressive. So I like to have that quicker ADS time with the angle grip, you know, but if you're having trouble controlling recoil, maybe you play a bit slower, you're on support, you're on thermite holding angles, something like that, you know, a vertical grip is going to be just fine for you. Uh, so that's really all I have for today's video. Hope you guys learned something was able to use this to help out your gameplay. If you disagree on anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. And always, thanks for watching. I killed Goyo. Goyo's dead. <coughs> Couldn't have been any faster. Hey, you could have. He's still dead though. Could have killed him faster. He's either a study or aviator. Op four eliminated. So when you do your T hunts, I'll swap. Because uh. I'd, I'm, I'm, I'm done, like, basically low on this fucking account, like, I'm so over it. This should be my plot to account, but instead my smurf is higher. It's so Whopping stupid. Nuts. Like, why is my smurf higher than my man? So Speed floor is up! Loading no man! Last stop standing. If you remain.
remain in touch. You will be detected by hostiles. Friendly, last operator standing.